Hello everyone, it's Kelly here at Mary's Place. Just checking in with you, just uh, saying hello, hope you're all doing well, staying safe, and hope everybody knows that we are thinking of you here at Mary's Place and we can't wait till we can get together again and have some fun here. And uh, we are expecting that to be another couple of months. Um, right now, what I wanted to talk with you about today is the reason that we are all seeing each other virtually instead of in person. And um, I'm sure you've all heard about uh, this new illness that's out in the public right now, and it is, uh, it is called the coronavirus. And um, it actually has a special name because coronaviruses on their own have been around a long time and are associated with the common cold and generally are not um, that serious. However, this new strain, which is nicknamed COVID-19, has created um, quite a problem in public health it is more serious. It is associated with a lot more um, deaths right now while they're trying to get a handle on how to control it. Um, they feel that it is best for all of us to stay home and stay with our families and keep a safe distance from others. And most importantly, to practice good hygiene, hand hygiene, um, disinfecting things and keeping our hands clean so we're just gonna go over some of those things today just to help you understand um, how to stay safe and how to stay healthy something that the president has put out um, to try to help control this disease and it is called 30 days to slow the spread and it has some very good techniques and very good tips on how we can all stay safe. Um, a lot of our states have now enacted uh, measures for all of us to only go out when it's absolutely necessary um, and to what they call shelter in place, which is can be a lot of fun if you have good things to watch on TV or you'd like to tap in and see our videos and activities. Um, so with, with the, the new world that we're living in where we're having to stay home, I hope you're all finding fun things to do and, and having fun um, spending time with, with your loved ones. So part of what the president um, has suggested is that if you feel sick, that you do stay home, you don't go to work, and you contact your medical provider. Another important thing is that if you're an older person, that you do stay home and keep yourself safe um, because children and older people and people with compromised immune systems, people with other diseases are at higher risk for having complications. So might as well stay safe and not have to, have to worry about that as much. So um, if you have, um, someone taking care of you, be sure that you are taking your medication as prescribed, that you are eating well, that you are taking good care of yourself, and especially, most importantly, that you are keeping your hands clean, um, especially when you go to eat before you put your hands on your face or your, in your mouth. Make sure that they are completely disinfected either by washing your hands for at least 20 seconds singing that happy birthday to you, singing that song while you're wash, wash, washing your hands. Make sure you get every part of your fingers and cup your hands. Lots of friction, lots of water, lots of soap, and rinse well. Be sure you dry your hands, hopefully with a paper towel. Make sure you dry really well and then use that paper towel to close the faucet handle. Touch the handle with the paper towel and then dispose of the paper towel. That way your hands are clean, they haven't touched the handles again, and you're good to go. You're good to eat, drink, touch your face, all that stuff. If, if you don't have soap and water, hopefully you have access to our hand sanitizer. You all remember this from lunchtime and snack time. We like to use these, so you need about this much 
little bit, little squirt. Use that just as you would use that friction. Rub your hands together well. Get all the parts of your fingers, fingertips, thumbs, everything. Let it dry. You can feel it on your hands. Let it dry before you touch anything, especially food, or put them in your mouth. You don't want that alcohol. It doesn't taste very good. In Maricopa County, they currently have about 100 and uh, I'm sorry, 961 cases in Maricopa County. I was looking at another county, but 961 cases in Maricopa County. So that um, that number is growing daily. So we want to make sure that we are practicing these safe practices so that we. Um, can stay away from that. Another thing you might remember and remember seeing here are the disinfectant wipes. We want to make sure you understand that those are your friend. Those are something to use on handles for faucets and different handles and things around the house. Just disinfect every once in a while. A few times a day um, helps keep that risk of exposure to any germs around the house it helps keep that risk down another thing you might want to remember is to use a kleenex if you need to sneeze or cough or blow your nose be sure you use the kleenex go ahead use it and then dispose of it in the trash and most importantly if you're using kleenex after you use that kleenex be sure you're sanitizing your hands again and that's that's a good practice all the time, but especially right now, it is important to help keep you safe. And lastly, I just want to tell you, you might be seeing a lot of people wearing these things on their faces, masks. These are called respiratory masks or surgical masks, or there's another kind that's cupped like this. And you might see people wearing those. That's okay. That's keeping them safe. And, uh, and helping to keep that risk down. So if you go to the doctor, they may ask you to put one of those on and there's nothing wrong with that. That'll help keep you safe. If you see people who are taking care of you wearing a mask, that's not scary, that is a good thing. And they are trying to protect you as well as themselves. So please be safe out there. And again, we cannot wait to see you very, very soon. Take care.